the Institute of Risk Management defines risk as the proactive identification, analysis, and control of those risks that can threaten the assets or the earning capacity of an enterprise. In other words, it is identifying and mitigating the risks that can have an effect on the business value of an organization. Risks can be due to multiple reasons such as not complying with regulations of an industry or a company, security breaches which eventually lead to data leakage, risks associated with vendor, licensing, etc. The factors that we take into consideration when we address the issue of risk are compliance, security, privacy, reputation, legal, and licensing. We will discuss the idea of compliance in the next slide. All organizations have to adhere to or comply with a set of regulations or legalities of their respective industry. This is very crucial for larger organizations, especially the ones that are publicly listed. Inability to adhere to these laws might result in the infringement of law which can be detrimental to the interest of the company. In order to mitigate risk due to non-compliance, organizations should follow stringent measures. Having direct control over the IT assets indicates that we can have access rights to several IT applications. Again, yearly audits reveal the identity management process and how access control is organized among the employees in the organization. Cloud, however, has the ability to complicate this entire process. In cloud, there is very less visibility, and when our applications are hosted on cloud, service providers can issue and manage or use identities and rights associated with these applications. In the next slide, we will discuss the relative advantages and disadvantages of in-house system management and cloud computing.